All right, guys, found another place here in Niles, Ohio. This time it's an abandoned Sunoco, which was called McQuaid's. Don't know anything about the place, but it's definitely abandoned, and I'll show you why. Let's check it out. So here's a look at the uh, entire property. Got two uh, canopies here. Six pumps total. I like how this only has one pump under it. I couldn't find any uh, info about this place either. Uh, here's more gas pumps back here. Two more. So, yeah, yeah this was a pretty big gas station. Let's take a look inside. It's a mess in there. Lots of stuff everywhere. Still lots of product in there. There is a lot of beer in there. Lots and lots of beer on that shelf over there on, on the left. Then there's beer all over the floor. It's all grody. Lots and lots of product in here. Wow. Locked up. The poor alcohol abuse, man. Let's see. Pretty much emptied out. There's a couple things here and there. Lots and lots of beer back there, though. Sorry, I know you can't see anything because of the glare. Lots of beer. <laughs> it's locked. Ohio lottery tickets sold here. Man, oh man. It's an old uh, sign there too. And that one really gets me that right there is the Dollar General Market. I've never seen one of those before. I'm guessing they have like a full grocery store in there or something. No beer or wine. Uh, lies. <laughs> Cash register and everything is still in there. Looks like they even have some lottery tickets in there too, unless those are just the signs advertising what the uh, lottery tickets were. Cool little place though. More gas pumps back here. If you know when this closed, by all means let me know in the comments. I just love finding these places. I'd love to know how old those papers are. I'll give you an idea. There's a whole stack of them here. But they're covered, I can't tell. Can't see a date. There's a bunch down there too on the floor and on that chair. I can't see a date on them though. Pretty, pretty cool though to find this. I'd like one of those neon Bud Light or Budweiser lights though. McQuaid's. The coolers, charcoal lighter fluid, pretty neat. There's the old gas pumps here. The one gas pump there. I'm surprised they got enough room that they could have put a second one in. One thing I found here at this gas station is just so cool and I can't believe it still exists. I just have to show it to you guys because it just, it blows my mind that it still exists. And I get that feeling like it might still work too. Check this out right behind me here. <laughs> How cool is this little thing right here? When was the last time you seen a payphone? I mean, seriously. What the hell? Hello? No. What? 
Who are you looking for? Mary Lou? I don't know anybody by the name of Mary Lou. I don't know anybody by the name of Joyce either. Yeah, I think you got the wrong number, bud. Well, no, I'm not the one that wrote this phone number on the bathroom stall. Who's Joyce? I don't know anybody named Joyce either. You're crazy, man. No, I don't know anybody by the name of Barbara. I don't I, look. I don't know any of these people that you're mentioning, but uh, I, I wish you the best of luck in finding them. Yeah, I was just out here filming the place, and I heard the phone ring, and I wanted to see who it was because uh, I was expecting a call, but not this kind of call. No, I don't want to come over. What are you doing? Ew. Oh, God. Ew, no. No, no. I'm sorry. I got to go by. <laughs> that was absolutely disturbing. Wow. Okay. On that note, I'm going to leave. All right, guys. Well, that was my look at the abandoned Sunoco slash McQuaid's uh, here on US 422. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. And you subscribe to my channel for more content if you're not already a subscriber. And until next time, guys, take care.